guys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another play by play. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That last seven deadly sins video took a lot out of me. I ain't even wanna do this shit no more. But we are back. I ain't gonna lie though. This video is gonna be minimal boxing, but for good reason. Today I'm here to tell y'all about a boy. No, a man whose actions over the course of 24 episodes defied all logic and reasoning. This was the first man to curb 90% of all female characters in the series. The first person to ever voluntarily deny any attempt at romance. He is the director, no, the founder of No Hoes University. He is Tatsu. And today, we shall delve into his many efforts to evade female interaction. So without further ado, let's get to the video, man. Right off the bat, bruh, first episode, Tatsumi has entered the capital for the first time, and about 5-6 minutes in, we see this man encounter Leone, who we later realize is a member of Night Raid. Man's is starstruck, and she plays this man like a drum, makes him buy her a drink, then takes this nigga's money, and then this dumbass waited another 12 hours for no reason. Now he out of a place to stay. We'll get back to her in a minute, because what he does next almost gets his ass killed. Alright, was this one technically his fault? Not really. But at the same time, anyone with common sense would not go hop in a car or worse, go home with someone they don't know. On top of that, this is this man's first night in this city. So like, what the fuck? And had it not been for Night Raid, this dumbass would have died fighting for the same bitch that packed up his friends. Anyway, back to Leone. Alright, now we in the next episode. And as y'all can see, this man is getting offered free play and he's doing nothing. Let me calm down actually, because it gets a lot worse. Then like 12 episodes later, they at the lake and Leone and Chelsea walk up on Tatsumi asking them who looks better. Obvious flirting. And what does this idiot do? Dodges the question. Hey, pause right here, bro. What is she doing to my nigga? What the fuck? This man is this close to the goods and he complaining about job responsibilities, bro. He's not serious. I'm telling you. Okay, so before we dive into a Kame's tape, I just want y'all to think about something right quick, bruh. This man, Tatsumi, is in a group that has a guy-girl ratio of 5 to 3. And of the other two guys, one is gay and the other is a fucking idiot. So essentially, he has no competition right now. Still refuses to show up. This man sees a Kame take off her clothes and shit, right? And fucking pisses down his leg. Ah, bro, that's not even the worst of it, dog. So later in the episode, right, he folded some random and he starts bragging to a Kame, right? She takes off this man's clothes and starts checking them out all over then gets all sentimental and shit right and all this loser does is shake her hand never thought once to himself hmm maybe i should spit some fucking game then a few episodes later we cut to bro in a room with her alone and the only cheeks he hits is his own bro this man is so unserious and nah bro hold on before y'all get on me talking about they were mourning shell's death yes i know but think about it he could have just simply used it to his advantage if you catch what i'm trying to do like four or five episodes later bro left his fly open and she said she had been paying attention to it for some time not only that but then she said she'd pay more attention to it going forward does he attempt to make a play? Absolutely not. You know, a lot of people say he fumbled S death the hardest, and oh, trust me, that's justified, and I will be getting to that very soon. But to I'm me, man, to he fumbled here, mine the right? hardest not given the time, result. Bro is out here spending so much big, time with her, right? And leg, she starts to get feelings for bro. And, and what does he do? Complain, because his hair got messed up. Outside of that, though, to be honest, he doesn't really do nothing crazy. But towards the end, he talks with her and shit, and he knows he likes her and never says nothing. I suppose fumble might not have been the best word. I was looking for, like, underwhelming. I think that would suit it better. Because, I mean, think about it, bro. He had all this time alone with her, and the only thing we got out of it was one kiss. Let's try this again, shall we? Bro, this one was crazy from start to finish, bro. She is chilling at this man's bedside right now, and he don't do shit. It's food right there, and he ain't trying to eat, dog. I'm not saying that he should attempt to knock it out the park off rip, but to not even try to apply any res is borderline insanity. Like, come on, bro. Come on! They giving this nigga open layups and he not taking them. I ain't gonna lie though. After seeing her backstory, I kind of understand the hesitation. She was low key crazy. But you know what they say? She got him sitting in his lap, talking about how she not gonna say nothing. She gonna make herself useful. Like, am I the only one watching this, bro? Too bad this one was short lived though. 
we have reached the final chapter, ladies and gentlemen. But before I dive into it, I just want to say something, man. The shit that we are about to watch together should be studied in schools of like, I, I just don't understand how he possibly messed this up. Anyway, though, let's get to it. Look at my nigga Tatsumi dropped off some random in a tournament and inadvertently managed to cuff a girl with the domination king. I don't understand it, but even though he is putting on quite literally one of the worst performances I've ever seen in my life, he bagged the baddest girl in the show. I've never seen anything like it. Anyway, that man is chilling in her crib. Bro is literally on the half yard line. He don't even gotta put in any extra effort. All he got to do is comply and he will pull off the heist of the century. Like my nigga. She is literally in the shower thinking of bro. He can't miss this. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you do that? Oh my god, bro. This nigga's What is his problem? He is not serious right now. You gotta smash the baddest girl in the show, and you wanna talk about the fucking economic and political state of the world right now? Dude, bro. This is one of the greatest performances of all time. Cause to fail this hard, you have to actually attempt to fail. It'd be one thing if they were walking around or something like that. They are in bed. She is on top of him. He couldn't wait like 10 minutes. I'm so glad I'm making a video on this and I'm honestly mad that I didn't make it sooner, bro. Because now I get to finally articulate my disgust for what this man has done. If he was really smart, he would have gone crazy, then started planting the information in her little by little. All he had to do was just shut the fuck up, built up loyalty, and he would have had her in the palm of his hands. But no... This man don't have no manipulation badges, no nothing. And surprisingly after that, she still wants this nigga. I want y'all to pay very close attention to what she says next. I promise I shall be faithful. I won't even look at another man. You'll never feel alone again. Man, come on, dog. You know what, bro? Clap it up, bro. Clap it up. Clap it up. This might actually be the dumbest character in all of television, bro. I have never seen anything like Let this. Let me get this straight, bro. She is already pledging her allegiance to him. The only thing this man has to do is go with the flow and then slowly manipulate her. He was supposed to be checked down Jesus, methodically drive down the field, and eventually he'd be in the end zone. But this dumbass threw a Hail Mary on the first play of the fucking drive. He is literally ready to do whatever, and he's trying to have an ideology off right now. Any normal woman in this situation would have been turned off by this. And yet, she is aroused by it. What is going on, bro? He is failing successfully? He over here asking niggas how to win him over in his face. It cannot get any more easier than this. The man is Ben Simmons, ladies and gentlemen. Ben fucking Simmons. Man's dipped on her 10 days ago and she's still going crazy about him, bro. I, I, this is fucking crazy. Fast forward some episodes, right? As Death runs back into Tatsumi and they run into some random. And then they get teleported to some island. And they get rid of a bunch of beasts and shit. And that was a cool little sequence. But what I want to point out is the most important aspect of this whole situation. He is on an island with As Death alone. And she points that out and asks him the question that every heterosexual male has dreamed of being asked. Not only that, but look at the choices this man has right here. You already know what this idiot is going to choose, so let me not even waste my breath. The bot does absolutely nothing. He don't know what he's doing out there. It's just like, dog, bro, this is so painful to watch right now. I'm, I'm dead ass running out of shit to say. Like, this, this shit is so baffling. This man quite literally is in one of the rarest situations ever and is just not showing up. The light's too bright for this man. And now hold the fuck on, bruh. Several episodes into this dynamic and he just now realizes he can use the time they have together to his advantage. On top of that, he's not even doing it properly. Mans could be 10 times more effective if he just locked in. But nope, he want to use talk no jutsu. Hate to break it to you, bruh, but that shit only works in Naruto. And they managed to get back. But look, dog, I know it's guys out here that up in the presence of pretty women as well as some who are terrified of it but hiding from the bad bitches oh, i'm not doing this no more bro it's several more increments of footage bro but nah fuck this shit bro. but yeah it. man this dude right here put on one of the most egregious 24 episode displays i've seen in my life this man deserves to be charged for his crimes against the game speaking of crimes next time <laughs>